。过去十多年，神不断提示及证明人类正逐渐步入启示录嘅大灾难，所以日华牧师已经多次分享有关预备灾难嘅信息，例如一九九九年嘅千年虫预备。二零零九年，因为二零一二荣耀盼望信息而紧急储量；二零一三年，为到可能出现嘅全球性海岸线事件，进行大规模北上避难演习，以及面对灾难嘅种种预备等信息。喺二零一二信息中，亦曾多次分享现代文明同埋科技毁灭之后，继续生存嘅智慧，例如从大自然取水、自制滤水器、大量种植草菇类作食物、生火智慧。自制火箭炉、使用单轮车及双轮车作逃生工具等，亦介绍过面对灾难而缺乏粮食，可以养兔子获取大量食用肉类，因为兔子喺恶劣同埋缺乏嘅环境下，仍可以大量繁殖，系灾难里面获取食用肉类嘅最有效率途径。今篇精华短片会为大家介绍喺资源缺乏之下，另一种短时间内大量得到粮食嘅方法，就系、是、马铃薯。即系俗称薯仔嘅种植方法，基本上种植薯仔嘅方法有好多种，每一种都可以喺几个月内种出充足供应每人每日食用嘅大量薯仔，而且味道良好，能够供应人体每日所需嘅热量同埋养分。方法亦非常简单，只需要泥土、水同埋一批薯仔，最好选用有机薯仔，但绝对唔好用基因改造嘅薯仔，以烧过嘅杂草作为肥料。再加上大垃圾袋就可以。如此，每一个薯仔都可以种出十个或以上嘅产量，种出十倍以上嘅收成。Potatoes are a nutritious and delicious starchy tuber, and they're a source of potassium, fiber, protein, vitamin C, and B6, and iron. There are lots of ways you can eat potatoes, but they always taste best when they're fresh, especially when you grow them yourself. Growing potatoes in a trash bag is practically a foolproof way to grow potatoes, and it only takes a few easy steps to do it. Step one: One week before planting, place your seed potatoes in a warm spot. When sprouts that are about one quarter inch to one half inch form, they're about ready to plant. Cut large seed potatoes into chunks that are approximately two inches wide. Each piece should have at least two sprouts. After cutting the seed potatoes. Allow them to sit at room temperature for three days. Step two: Using a pair of scissors, cut a few drainage holes in the bottom of a 30-gallon plastic trash bag. Roll the sides of the bag down and fill it with about one-third potting soil. Now, place the trash bag in an area of your garden that gets full sun. Step three: To plant your seed potatoes, first dust them with agricultural sulfur to protect them against fungal disease. Plant them by burying them with the eyes pointed up, about two inches deep in the soil. Water thoroughly. Step four: When your potato plants are six to eight inches tall, add more soil and straw to the bag. There should be just enough soil so that the top few leaves are poking through. As they continue to grow, keep unrolling the trash bag and adding more soil accordingly. They should stay well watered, but not soggy. Now the fun part. Harvest time. One clue that your potatoes are about ready for harvesting is that the leaves will yellow and the foliage will die back. At this point, you should stop watering and simply leave them alone for a few weeks so that the skins toughen up. To harvest, slit open the side of the bag and release the potatoes. You can start a few other batches at regular intervals to enjoy a continuous harvest. Growing your own potatoes is not only fun. But you'll know exactly what went into your potatoes at every stage. Along with trash bags, potatoes are also grown in barrels, buckets, commercial growing bags, and even cardboard boxes. 我哋重温一下以上所讲嘅步骤：一、让薯仔发芽一星期。当新芽长到四分之一寸至半寸，就将薯仔切成约两寸嘅小块，再发芽三日。二、用三十加仑嘅垃圾袋。底部展开数个排水孔，卷起袋嘅两边，加入大约三分之一嘅泥土。紧记要喺垃圾袋底部展排水孔，不单可以让过量嘅水流走。当你将垃圾袋放喺泥地上嘅时候，排水孔接触到地面嘅泥土
，令泥土接地，即系 grounding， 就可以大幅增加薯仔嘅产量同埋尺寸，亦可以用电线将袋中嘅泥土接地到水喉，亦能够产生同样效果。三，将农业用嘅硫撒喺发芽薯仔表面，防止真菌感染，将薯仔埋入大约两寸嘅泥土入面，芽头向上，然后淋水。四，当薯仔嘅茎。长高成至六至八寸，就要喺袋入面添加更多泥土同埋稻草。泥土只要刚好填满就可以，用最顶嘅扫片叶子露出。随着植物成长，继续展开垃圾袋，增加更多泥土。呢一点非常重要，因为一次加太多泥土，泥土嘅重量会抑压薯仔嘅生长，减低收成嘅数量同埋尺寸。并且任何时间添加嘅泥土都必须确保系松软，唔可以压实。否则同样会抑压薯仔嘅生长，减低收成嘅数量同埋尺寸。五收割嘅时间，当叶子变黄凋谢，就可以停止淋水，等候两至三个星期就可以收成啦。大家会睇见，以上方法只需极少资源、极少人力物力，收成已经非常庞大，绝对足够供应每人每日所需嘅热量同埋养分，要供应每人每日三餐温饱。系完全冇问题。以下影片将胶袋换成胶桶，原理基本上系一样，但可以睇见，如果有智慧咁样栽种，收成系非常惊人。Right, folks, got my tarpaulin down because I want to keep all the soil, all the compost, and dig it in. Just get a bit scabby. I'll just do it first one, so we get a general idea. And I'll tip all the. Oh my God! Look at the size of that one. <laughs> oh my God! Right. Uh, so for a first pot, 30 liters. That is absolutely bloody ridiculous. Right. So I'll put the camera on a tripod, and I'll empty them all out and speed it up, and we'll see what sort of work we've got at the end. But uh, first impressions. That is absolutely ridiculous. Right. Tripod time. Actually, I will just wear this one pot just in case it's a free pot. I'd love to get a ten pounder, ten pounder out of a thirty liter pot. So bear with me a sec, folks. I'll just give these a quick wear. There's some right shaped ones. Look at that thing. Bloody hell! Tarpaulins, the stuff to grow. I tell you, that's it. No, if you get blight, right? Any guesses? What do we reckon? I think that's about all of them. No scabby. They're considering it was a, it's been quite dry. Right then, first pot. I won't do. I won't do this to them all. I'll just do this first random one. Set it to. Come on. Play ball. It's going to give up on me, isn't it? Oh, it started flashing now. It's, got, it's not working. Probably shouldn't have done that. Right, we'll have to take a bit of a break. Rain check here. I've got to try and get the battery out. There we go. I think. Oh God. Right, we're on to pounds now. Zero, bag doesn't weigh anything, does it? Here we go. Have we got a ten-pound bag? Oh my God! Look at that. Thirteen point four pound from one pot. It's a record, is that, Brendan? Right, we'll get them all out and give them a big old weigh in a massive pot and see if we can break. What's that? Seven pots. Might even get hundred pound out of seven pots if they're all as big as that. Right, I'll just set my tripod out and I'll uh, empty the rest and speed it up. 从以上影片，大家睇见农夫会喺胶桶底部开洞，让桶内嘅泥土接触地面嘅泥土，形成接地，并且桶内嘅泥土系非常松软，所以收成非常惊人。当然，大家也要掌握当中嘅智慧同埋技巧，先至能够得到最有效益嘅收成。喺接落嚟嘅主页信息中，会继续为大家逐一详细分享。